Welcome back. Today we're gonna draw another old wrinkly dude on a wine glass. Although this time he's way more cute than Trump or Merkel. The true savior of a franchise. To this day only known as the child or as the internet calls him Baby Yoda. A natural born meme material. Arguably the cutest thing in Star Wars. Competing with Porgs, Ewoks and Tala Sirens. I actually haven't seen all the movies. I like the original trilogy and I like the prequels, even though the prequels were hated for a long time in the internet. I was excited for the new trilogy and when the first movie came out I went to see it, but I was utterly disappointed and I didn't see any of the following movies. And suddenly the internet also decided that the prequels were not so bad after all. I haven't seen any following movies after episode 7. And if I have not seen those movies, do not expect me to have seen any of the other additional movies like Evox, Battle for Endor or the Star Wars Holiday Special. I have no knowledge of any animated or Lego series either. I have played Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, although I didn't finish the second one for some reason. And any Battlefront games I have not played either, even though they do seem fun. So please. Fellow nerds, do not torture me if I get any of the facts wrong. But this Baby Yoda guy kinda reignited my interest in the franchise. And I always liked the Mandalorians in the Star Wars universe as a people. And I felt they were grossly underrepresented. They just look cool and are all mysterious and all that stuff. So I'm really happy that they're actually making this series. And I was even happier when I first heard the iconic voice of Werner Herzog. And I think he even called a director a coward because he wanted to use more CGI instead of puppets and animatronics for the Baby Yoda. What a legend. I believe the common denominator of the universe is not harmony, but chaos, hostility and murder. There is no harmony in the universe. We have to get acquainted to this idea that there is no real harmony as we have conceived it. But when I say this, I say this all full of admiration for the jungle. It is not that I hate it, I love it. I love it very much, but I love it against my better judgment. Again, I'm starting off with uh, cutting out the picture from the paper and using some sticky tack, I'm just laying in inside of the glass, just like this. Now in my engraving room, I'm using a respirator, so I can I don't breathe in any of the dust. I'm starting off with the conical sharp bit, and I'm doing all the outlines of the face and the body, uh, and all the contrasting areas, uh, starting from the ears and the face, going down to the arms and the coat, and doing all the detail work. All the areas that have sharp uh, contrast with the surrounding areas, I'm doing the outlines. So I can have a reference point later on uh, where everything is, when it's all being covered up by other engravings so I can see better. So I'm doing the face now. Well, the chin area, the mouth, the nose, and this little guy has a lot of wrinkles. He's a baby, but he's also 50 years old. A lot of wrinkles on the forehead, and he has also has like hair uh, covering his body. So if I'm doing the hair bits, I'm trying to move my tool in the same direction as the hair is growing so I can imitate the pattern of the hair and the printout is actually a little bit sharpened and uh, the contrast is turned up uh, and it obviously is inverted as well uh, so uh, I can see better where the contrasting lines should be if it stays the same uh, as the original, the 
printing process like blurs all of these lines because uh, in in with diamond the diamond is always the same shade of white if it is true that baby yoda is about 50 years old in the show and the original yoda was around 900 years it raises the question of how does the aging process work for his species like baby yoda looks to have an equivalent age of a two or three year old human although he cannot speak any words yet but also old yoda had some difficulty speaking so I did some quick math, and if Yoda species aging is in an, a uh, linear relationship with human aging, old Yoda died being the equivalent of a 45 year old human. Or is this development only physical and baby Yoda is like exploiting his cuteness for maximum cuddle and playtime and free snacks? The old Yoda seemed to be a playful dude as well. Does he suddenly get like a growth spurt and starts doing backflips and committing war crimes afterwards? Well, who knows, let's see. And yeah, there's like a zip line or like buttons or something underneath the flap. And this flap has like uh, uh, stitching in it. So I'm trying to keep these uh, holes in between where, where I'm not uh, coloring in. So to keep the dark stitching lines in there. So now there's like stitching going down and layers of, of fabric. And now the coat in the image actually stops at one point it's like cut off so i'm imitating a layer of coat underneath there so i don't actually know what it's supposed to look like but uh, it just seems like it's to the ground there's no feet visible so just make a rounded shape in there so now i have most of the things done and the outlines and sharpening so i'm removing the paper inside so I'm putting a dark fabric inside so now I can move on to uh, shading and uh, adding some bits and pieces and repairing some work that I missed or, or uh, that I fucked up like the mouth I'm actually not happy with the mouth a little bit so I'm changing this in the end so I'm starting with this uh, polishing wheel uh, on a Rod, but I don't really like this because as you can see I wore down to the bare metal in there and I'm changing to these rubber wheels uh, the lighter ones are higher grit and the darker ones are uh, lower grit and I'm just polishing some really really uh, sharp lines from the diamond a little bit darker because uh, Otherwise, it's all really really bright, but the coat and the ears and around there there's supposed to be some shading now here I have the uh, same rubber, but I wore it down to this really sharp edge So I, I can do really really detailed work so I can get into tight spaces and Erase some stuff that otherwise with a big rubber it uh, could be quite difficult to do and now I'm using just the diamond tip without any rotation so you can do very very fine lines very very controlled and really really thin because the rotation actually makes the line a little bit thicker so with this really really thin line i can do all the finishing touches where i need to For this cute little bastard, I have some juice. I will not fill Baby Yoda with alcohol.
Although he is 50 years old and it would be funny to see him stumble even more. Maybe just a little bit of vodka. That's it for today. Do not forget to like and subscribe or else I will give Baby Yoda more vodka. Funny joke!